Uh. Yeah? Your channel is nothing. It serves zero purpose. You should reset character now. Bruh. All right, welcome back to another video, my fellow Walmart bag. Wait, what? So, as you can see on the title and thumbnail, today we are going to obtain Judgment or Hiromi Higuruma from Jujutsu Kaisen in our lovely project Baki 3. Of course, most of you probably don't know this guy because he is still in manga, which means this video is going to have spoiled content. So shut this video off if you want to. But anyway, for those who have no idea who Hiromi Higuruma is, he is just a guy who previously worked as a lawyer and did his best to defend those who were mistreated and falsely accused. Well, I don't want to spoil you too much, so let's just get into the game. And to obtain judgment in this game, all you have to do is kill 150 thugs, die by an Itadori user 25 to 30 times, and get arrested by Arizona police in City 2. You probably still have no idea what I'm talking about at some point, like what the hell is City 2. But don't worry, let's go obtain it together. And just like in my previous video, I will give away a special gift, which is early access in the strongest battleground if you are the first to find my secret code in this video. So if you actually found it, make sure to comment it with your user as fast as you can. So just watch this video until the end and carefully, and if your comment gets pinned, that means you are the first to find it and you won this giveaway. Now let's go obtain it, so first we have to go get it at the Wise Market, which is at the beach. and then just click this gavel. You feel that someone who is not taking justice into his own hands is not worthy of a tool such as this. Yep, we have to go kill 150 thugs. And finally, we have done our hardest task. Now the next thing we have to do is get killed by an Itadori user 30 times. But before that, let me showcase Itadori first since I already obtained it. And let's start with M1 combo as always. Divergent Fists is the first move in this game, but it's a little different because it's work like you can imbue your fist with cursed energy which makes it so that if you hit your opponent with M1, it will effectively create a double impact. The second move is Black Flash, which involves sprinting forward and using cursed energy to smash your opponent with your fists in an instant, and Black Flash will guard break if it is blocked. And the next move is the Manji Kick, which entails ragdolling and a low kick to stun the opponent. If the opponent blocks the Manji Kick, the opponent will be lowered, 
but neither ragdoll or guard break will occur. And the next move is headbutt volley, in which you give your opponent three headbutts to the head, causing them to collapse and eventually take ragdolls. The next move is called Brother, and it causes Aoi Toto to clap as well as to switch places with you at the same time. Anything that comes into contact with Aoi Toto, who is acting as a different player altogether, will also trigger in kind. As though a player is being struck by an enemy, the player is moved a few feet back into a safe range by this move, which functions as a natural evasive. And Yuji in this game also has Awaken which, yeah, turning you into a tuna. And it's time to continue our quest. More moments later. And now I have to get arrested. And finally, we've done all the quests. Yeah, yeah, so basically, Judgment in this game has three gavel mode, which are Judgment Gavel Techniques, Judgment Staff Techniques, and Judgment Hammer Techniques. And let's start with Judgment Gavel Techniques first. Alright, now it's time for Domain Expansion, and the ability is a bit confusing, but basically if the Prosecutor, which is you, chooses what the Defendant or Opponent has picked, the Defendant will gain a mark, and the mark that is, is not a good thing. Guilty. Confiscation. Death penalty. And this is when you select what opponent has been selected two times, and you win the case. And if you win the case, the opponent will not be able to move, and you can just kill him with just one hit. And of course, if you do not win the case, the cutscene will be like this. Not guilty. But there is also another case, which is that if you select what the opponent selected only once, they will not be able to use the skill for 30 seconds. So yeah, overall this spec is one of my favorite specs because it's just fun to use and it's just very gamble. And that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Also, don't forget the secret codes.